In 2011, we gathered about 30 people for five days in Bellagio, Italy, at the Rockefeller Center to really think through this. What does transformation mean? What's the division of transformation? How have other countries done it? What can Africa do? There's a clear consensus now that transformation is the way to go for Africa. The high-level panel of the UN clearly talks about in reducing poverty, extreme poverty by 2030, they call for five big transformative shifts. And one, the third big transformation shift that the panel called for was transforming economies for jobs and inclusive growth. That's at the level of the UN. The ADB has made this whole strategy at the center of African transformation. My former institution, ECA, continues to push and do some very remarkable work in the area of our transformation agenda. And above all, the African Union, the AU, has put transformation as a center. And the Asset Africa Transformation Report seeks to answer the question whether that, that aspiration for a better life will become a reality and how this can come to pass. And in logical detail, in my view, it answers the question what critical steps are required in order to ensure that growth indeed turns into actual lived experience on the part of Africa's people. I'm sure that uh, those who have read the report will agree that uh, two critical issues stand out as its basic premises. Firstly is the question of agency and the need for national social compacts which require quality leadership in government, in civil society, and in business. The second premise is that uh, economic growth should be or should simultaneously be coupled with social development. In fact, rather than merely being a consequence of economic growth, reduction in poverty and general human development can in fact be part of the drivers of economic growth. Africa must transform. This is a paraphrase from my past presidency. Africa must unite. Governments must put transformation at the top of the agenda. It's not something that they just talk about and forget. It must be something that they think about constantly. They must implement the policies and exercise their discipline, including the use of resources efficiently and honestly in order to promote transformation. They should support their private sectors over and beyond just providing the environment, work with them to find out where are the critical stumbling blocks to the new areas that the country needs to pursue in order for it to achieve the, the pathways and low-hanging fruit and make some breakthroughs. And we urge all citizens to demand transformation from your government. Demand it. Not only how much is the GDP growing or anything, but help with, with the help of the ATR, the ATR index, and the DEF. Ask your government, how come we are not diversifying? How come our productivity has remained stuck? How come our technological level in our export is not moving? And we intend over time, uh, with uh, various additions of the ATI and the ATR, to help this process, to help citizens demand transformation from their leaders.